voila, how incredible this is going to be today. Um, we're gonna talk about this brand new Fire TV Cube from Amazon that is at a fantastic value under $100. We're gonna show you how easy it is to use, what it can do, and how this is really going to make streaming everything that you love and all of the other things that you love about, um, about having a, a smart device just like up, up the ante. So this is going to be on a great easy pay, five easy pay of $19.99, free shipping and handling. Brand new innovation, E232350 is your item number and Brett Hamilton is here to show us all about the Amazon Fire TV Cube that is small, yes, small, am. small, but there's so much power <laughs> packed in this little cube. There what is. is this? Yeah, in, in fact, people keep hearing the term Echo and her name and Fire, Fire TV and what a, when is the whole world going to come together? When is that whole Amazon world going to be one device? Because you know what the Echo can do. You say her name, she wakes up, she gives you information. She turns on the lights in your house, she gives you a recipe. And then the whole idea of streaming came along. And that's what Fire TV is from Amazon. It's not the television itself. It's this box interacting with this TV. But now the world of the Echo mm -hmm. and the world of Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Video and ESPN and Showtime Go together. It's a big media sandwich and it lands right inside here. So now for the very first time, not only do you have access to all that information all in one, you can do it without a remote control. You get a remote, in fact you get a voice activated remote, but you can teach your television and you only do this one time, how to interact with your voice. So just like you saw Nancy turn the television on at the very beginning, you can be on the couch falling asleep and just say, Alexa, turn off the television. Sorry. I didn't find oh, a device because I called a television. television. Alexa, turn off TV. Okay. Now see, at that point, if I, if I misnamed it or miscalled it, I probably could have just picked up the remote. My point is, you don't need the remote anymore. And for many of you that aren't tech savvy, that's your biggest pet peeve. My mother-in-law comes to visit and she watches our house when we go on vacation. And we have to write her, and I'm not exaggerating with this, we have to write her notes to show her which input is you know, the streaming box, which input is cable, which input is, how do I turn the TV on? How do I turn the audio on? All of, she doesn't need any of that anymore. She can walk into the house, walk up to the TV and say, Alexa, turn on the TV. Okay. So once the TV is on, you can then start to navigate to places that you didn't know existed or how to find them. And Nancy, the amazing part about what Fire TV does is it gives you the ability to watch essentially anything, anytime, anywhere because this device is also portable. Look you can take this and plug, yeah, tiny. that cube right there can be plugged into any television that has an HDMI input. What is HDMI? I know you've heard me say that term a thousand times, maybe more. This is an HDMI cable. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this is the only additional piece of equipment that you will need yep. when you buy this device. It is not in a box. They're online for about five or six dollars. You can get them in any length. HDMI replaced the old red, yellow, and white we used to yep. use for the VCRs and the DVD players. This plugs into this port on the back here. This plugs in to your television. Now once it's plugged in, unlike a lot of other technology where you gotta go to the app and you gotta read the instruction manual, no. The setup process will appear magically on your television. You'll tell it what kind of TV you have the very first time. We told it was a Samsung TV. That's how she knows to turn it on and off, how to turn the volume up and down. But I'm gonna show you something really cool. Before we do get sure. there, can we show her what she's gonna get? And I wanna yes. go through a great value. Um, come over and tell me some yep. of these, all these pieces that all are right. in here. I know this looks intimidating, and I said you only need one cable. Truthfully, you're only going to use the one cable, but Amazon gives you some extras. The cable that plugs into the wall doesn't count because that's power. Every device needs power. But you have this to give it electricity, to give it power, and you're going to get yourself an HDMI cable that'll plug into the television. The remote you may or may not use because you'll see with the voice activation. They give you a couple of addition, uh, additional connectors that in most cases you won't use. This is called an IR extender. What is IR? That's when you send a signal from your, from your remote control to your TV. Well, many of you won't put this device, meaning the cube, in front of the television. You'll put it to the side or across the room or whatever. You'll then point it at that device should you choose. You don't need it. You also don't need it, but you have it. For those of you that don't have wireless internet, you still use internet plugged in. This is an adapter that will allow you to continue to do that. In many cases, that also makes the signal a lot faster and, uh, and more responsive. Because remember, whatever's streaming up on the screen here, that lives and dies by how fast your Wi-Fi is. So enough with the tech speak. 
Well, here's the thing. The, let me show you this value because it's yep. pretty incredible. This is under $100 for this brand new Amazon Fire TV Cube, first ever on QVC with hands free, you know her. Um, the Amazon Fire TV Cube with hands free, her, is $119.99, <laughs> and our value is already $100. Plus, you're going to get a couple other things as, along with it. So, if sold separately, $174.90. Eight with a five easy pay plan of $19.99. Pretty incredible. But now let's get to the, the um, yeah. kind of nuts and bolts and how to use it and how easy it is to navigate to find things that you want to watch. Right. So there's the, think of this as two separate worlds that live together. You all know what an Amazon Echo can do by now. So we'll get to that in a little bit. Many of you already own an Echo. Maybe put this in another room. But what is streaming and what is Fire TV and how does Fire TV make streaming easier? Mm -hmm. Streaming is the ability to watch content on demand. Any, essentially any TV show, any movie, find any actor, find any actress, find the show you want to watch when you want to watch it. Not waiting for it to come on cable, not having to DVR it, not having to know when your favorite TV show is on. It's on when you want it to be. So, put you on the spot here, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Give me a movie that maybe you haven't seen in a while, but you had three hours to kill to sit on the couch and watch. Tommy Boy. All right. So, <laughs> Tommy Boy, right? Is it on cable tonight? Probably not. Would you know how to rent it? Would you know how to find it? Would you know how to get it and watch it when you want to watch it? Probably not. Here's how we're going to find Tommy Boy. Alexa, play Tommy Boy. Here's Tommy Boy. There you go. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Now, many of these will be free. Many of these you can rent. Many of these movies, and I have to point this out, if you have Amazon Prime, it's not just about the free shipping anymore. It's not just about the two-day shipping anymore. Now, Amazon has gone and bought the rights to broadcast thousands and thousands of TV shows, thousands and thousands of movies. In fact, they've even hooked up with uh, HBO, with Showtime, with a lot of these different companies and bought the rights to their shows so that not only can you watch that stuff, but anything that has Prime, any Prime original, anything that's labeled with Prime, including this show, which my wife and I just started watching, all of that would be free. If you've got a Netflix account, no longer do you have to watch it on a tiny little tablet or a phone. Mm -hmm. Now the entire family can watch Netflix or Hulu or any of the others. So once you find a movie or a TV show, you're sitting on the couch and you're like, okay, well, I started watching it the other night, but the kids had to go to bed and I hit pause and all that stuff. How do you go back to what you were doing and how do you do it hands-free? So let's go to an original show from Amazon, uh, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. So how do I get to that? Like this, Alexa, Play The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Here's The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. That's how you do it, right? And if the kids are in need of a snack or have to go to bed again and you get interrupted, you can simply say, Alexa, Perfect. pause. Can I ask you this? Yeah. Now, All what if right. the... It's okay. What if the kids yeah. came downstairs and said, Mom, I, wanna ha I want some graham crackers and milk. <laughs> and you all of a sudden go to try to find, oh, I, don't, I remember I don't have graham crackers and milk, right. I want, but I want to put those on my shopping list. Can you do that when you're watching television? You can. So for those of you that own an Echo, an Amazon Echo, you know that you can do a shopping list that corresponds to your phone or to a tablet or any device that has the Echo app in there. I can't say her name because we wake her up. So you guys can be watching a TV show watching a movie or whatever, and realize that you need stuff from the store, you can interrupt and say, Alexa, add graham crackers to the shopping list. I've put graham crackers on your shopping list. And there are graham crackers. <laughs> and the best part about it is, it also just put graham crackers on the shopping list under my Echo app, I call it, on here, on your Alexa app on here, so that you and your husband and the kids even could have that shopping list that can be changed simply by using your voice. Because how many times do you write down little scraps of paper yeah, I got the butter on this one, I have the wine on this one. Over here are the Cheetos, and, the, and then you lose them, right? Yeah. Well, now everything lives in this digital world. It's all flying around through space. And when you're done with this, you can go home. Alexa, go home. And she takes you back to here. Could I have gone back to my... You could have gone back to your show. Show. Excellent. Okay. So the other question I get, or one of the... I get a lot of questions about this one, to be honest with you. Can I watch TV without cable on the TV? Because many of you have one big, one big TV that you all crowd mm -hmm. around, right? It's in the main room, the living room, family room, great room, whatever you call it. But you have rooms that you have other televisions in. Basement, uh, bedroom, your bedroom, kitchen. How many of you have a little tiny TV in your kitchen? You have it on for company and stuff like that. Well, then I can't watch QVC, right? No, you can. 
because there are two web browsers inside here. What's a web browser? It's where you www dot whatever you want to do. Well, I www dot and went to YouTube. And guess what's on YouTube? QVC, live, 24 hours a day. You can watch QVC on a time. How about that for timing? Now there's a delay here. That's why you're seeing that. But the whole idea is that now you can watch many, 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 many channels that you already own through your cable system on TVs that don't have cable. Or in the case of QVC, you don't even need a cable subscription. It's on YouTube, it's live, and a kitchen TV would be a perfect, perfect place to put a piece of equipment like this one. That is that was really cool. What, oh, wow. what was happening? <laughs> yeah, that's the that's going to a third gener yeah, another that, generation. Totally. <laughs> um, okay, so we can. This is by the way, this is brand new, brand new innovation. The value shop around for the value. This is under a hundred dollars. This retail value is not found anywhere else that I can see of right now. But I'll tell you, at the retail value, one hundred nineteen ninety nine. We're under a hundred dollars. The QVC too big deal value is only good until nine p.m. Uh, what's today? Wednesday. Thursday. Wednesday. So Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, that hundred dollar value, 99.96, goes on up. So does the five easy payments. That goes away up, and free shipping and handling goes up. Um, so I want to let you know if you want this, the next generation, the latest innovation from Amazon, the Fire TV Cube with the hands-free Echo. Um, you might as well grab it today. E232 again, 350. All right, so let's continue on with this. It's super tiny. You can watch anything, anywhere, anytime that you want to watch it. Yeah, that's the whole idea because many of us have how many channels? I think uh, I have over 1,500 channels in my cable system and I don't watch any of them. And when I'm not exaggerating, I'm a uh, baseball fan in the summertime. I don't watch a lot of TV. In the fall, I watch a couple shows with my wife. She likes to watch uh, Housewives and stuff like that. But I'm finding more and more as I play around with devices like this and all of the extra apps that you can go to, that there's actually a way to kind of cheat the man, so to speak, right? Maybe you don't have to spend all of that money on all those channels. Maybe you could just get basic cable, which by the way would include QVC, and then kind of build your own network. Mm -hmm. Nancy's network, or Brett's network, or Megan's network, or Fran's network, or whatever it might be. So how do you do that? Well, it takes a little bit of doing, but I'm gonna kind of pull back the curtain here and show you guys an easy way to, in theory, save some money. So what do you watch? And only you can answer that. You know, there might be X amount of shows or X amount of channels that you go to, and then you got all those other channels that you don't watch. And you're like, you know what? Maybe I'll keep cable in one room, but I'm not gonna get cable anymore in the others. I'm gonna let you in a little secret. If you subscribe to cable and you have AMC or you have TBS or you have Bravo, you have the rights to those apps. Those apps don't have to be watched on the tel or, uh, a tablet or a phone. Those apps can be watched on here. So then what, what does that mean? Well, the A&E's of the world and history, and I'm sure it's here somewhere. If we keep going, there's Hallmark, because people ask me about that all the time. Could I have said to her to find that channel instead? You could. Now, I don't have that one loaded in here right now. Actually, okay. let's test this out live. We'll find out together. Okay. It'll probably find it, and then you'll just download it. Alexa, open Hallmark channel. Okay. So there you go. Now, it's a free download. Now, there's two ways to do this. If you don't have cable, there's probably a premium version of this that you can buy for a couple dollars a month. If you do have cable, you simply sign in with each one of these individual apps with the email associated with your cable account. Like I have Comcast, so I have a Comcast email. So I can sign in to any one of these apps and see the same channels that I'm paying for on the other TV. So you're like, wait a minute, I'm still buying cable. No, you're not. You're buying cable in that room, yep. but now you don't need to rent that $15 box in three other rooms like I was doing for the longest time before I finally woke up and said, all I watch in the basement is baseball and football and Netflix and stuff like that. Why am I paying, I think it's $14.99 a month yeah. for that DVR that I never ever use? Because I'm trying to think that what is that, like five or six months or so in one room of paying for that box and that now and you, own already, you own this. Yeah, by the you way, another great question that we get all the time. What do I have to pay to use this every month? The answer is there is no fee to use the device yeah. itself. And this is this is what you're getting right here. So right. it's no no fee at all to use this. Yeah. Now, there are, let me just interrupt yeah, real quick. Please. There is a fee for Netflix. Yeah. I think Netflix is $11 a month if you want it. You don't have to buy it. And I'm going to say that too. You don't have to buy anything that's up yeah. here. Again, if you have Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. you have so much free content. In theory, yeah. you don't ever, ever, ever need to buy anything else. Hulu, you'd have to pay for. Mm -hmm. But as you scroll I think through it's like here, nine bucks. yeah. And listen, that's kind of where I was going with this build your own network thing. We're giving you something really cool to try out. We're giving you something called Sling Television. What is Sling? Sling is in real time, real channel,